So we're going to go over the basic uh, ultrasound scanning technique and uh, scan windows for an abdominal ultrasound today. First we're going to start with the left lobe of the liver and to do that we're going to go sub xiphoid um, and we're going to first sweep all the way out through the left lobe start to come back first picture that I usually take is the lateral left lobe. Next picture, we come through more medial and you're going to start to see the aorta come into the picture here. This is my next picture. Still sweeping more medially, you're going to start to see the IVC and you'll see the caudate lobe and we usually put color on the IVC just to make sure that it fills completely. This is our last picture of the sagittal left lobe here. From here we're going to start to come into the right lobe of the liver. And for that I kind of follow this rib down a little bit. So it's technically you're slightly obliqued and what you want to make sure you do is you're pushing in and angling up underneath this rib. And what I do is I start at the dome of the right lobe and then take sequential pictures as we come down. So the first picture I get of the right lobe is just the parenchyma. You're above all the hepatic veins and portal veins. And then as you come down you're going to start to see the hepatic veins come into view. The walls of the hepatic veins are less echogenic than the portals and that's usually a good tip off that you're seeing the hepatic veins. Besides that you can also see them obviously go directly into the IVC. And then that's my second picture of the right lobe. The third picture of the right lobe you're going to take with the portal veins. If you were looking for any ductal dilatation this is where you would see that at the level of the portal system. And from there you just sweep all the way out of the liver. Next we go is transverse and for that we're going to start again with the left lobe sub xiphoid and you kind of grab the top of the probe here and you want to make sure you sweep all the way up through the left lobe till you see the heart. And then as you come down very similar protocol you start at the top of the left lobe with the parenchyma coming down you'll see the hepatic veins and then last you're gonna see the portal veins and you sweep all the way out of the left lobe here you wanna make sure you're sweeping through every organ because if you don't sweep You've probably missed some anatomy and possibly some pathology too. So now from the left lobe, which is right here, you're going to angle slightly over and you should see the right lobe come into view. So you angle all the way up through the dome of the right lobe and start to come down. You get the parenchyma. Coming down you'll see the hepatic veins again and then you'll also come into the portal. And from here you're going to go to an intercostal window. So after you fit for this window you're going to want to make sure that your probe is slightly obliqued because you want to fit in between each one of these rib spaces to get the best view of the liver. And you start again up at the top of the liver and you sweep through the top rib space here. Next you come down a rib space, sweep through again. As you're doing this you're still getting those same pictures, one at the dome of the right lobe, one at the hepatic veins, and then as you jump down you'll get a picture of the main portal vein and you can also see the main portal from this window split into right anterior and right posterior portal vein. At the last rib space you should start to see the upper pole of the kidney. 
against the liver surface. From here, you can kind of judge the echogenicity of the liver and the kidney. And then, as you turn coronal, you'll be able to evaluate the if there's any liver enlargement. The right kidney and the liver tip should both end at about the same spot. The whole time, you're going to want to make sure that you're sweeping through the liver completely just again to make sure you're not missing any pathology here.